let's start in, let's start kind of going through the launch sequence and talk about what kinds of ads you can run at each stage of your launch. Because one of the things that I think that um, business owners make the mistake in doing is waiting until like the week before your product is going on sale to, to start with your Facebook ads. And you can really start much earlier in the pre-launch sequence, pre-pre-launch or whatever, and really understanding what audience responds best so that when you come to that launch and you really want to drive the best cost per lead, you know your good t target keywords and things like that. So, so let's start even before you launch, um, you know, and, and every launch sequence can be very different depending on how, um, you know, how long you're running it, how, what your cart open and close is or things like that. But I suggest definitely starting out by figuring out your cute, your good targeting and what audience is responding best to you and do things like uh, video ads for sure, because with a video ad, you're going to be able to build up a great audience that you can retarget in the launch sequence. And, and it's a cheaper way to build up a warm audience than say just link clicks and driving traffic to your site. You're finding out who's engaging with your videos and watching a certain percentage, and then you could retarget those people. So start out with some content. Maybe you've got some good tips Maybe you've got just some things that you want to share about your business, maybe some testimonial videos, um, and put those videos out, um, boost them, or you know, do a video ad with them with some target keywords that you want to test and see how those keywords perform for you. And, and it might also be driving traffic to like a blog post that's going to help warm up the audience and get people connected to you. See what which keywords drive the cheapest link clicks. So now when you come to the launch sequence, you're going to really know what, what keywords are working best so that you don't have to start testing during your launch. All right. So when we're testing, uh, say, these uh, video ads on, on Facebook, um, and you said, look, measure the performance uh, early on as this, you know, warming up the audience prior to the launch. What mm -hmm. do we want to be, like, how do we measure performance and whether yeah. it's working well or not? Yeah, so you go into your ads manager area, and that's at facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager, and that's where all of your, your ads are going to be located. Any boosted posts you've done, you'll see that as well. Any, um, any types of ads you've set up from scratch will be there. And what you'll do is just make sure you're comparing the right stats to each other. So for example, for a video, you might be wanting to see what the cost per three second video view is. For, a for an ad that's driving traffic, you're gonna look at the cost per link click and try a couple of different ads, but compare the stats correctly to each other so that you're not you know, trying to compare apples and oranges, obviously. And so that way you really understand which ad is performing better. And one of, the, um, one of my little tips here on the ads reports area is there's some pre-built reports that you can view. And one of the best pre-built reports that's there is called performance and clicks. So switch your view to performance and clicks and you'll get more information that you can kind of look at to compare what's the best cost per link click, what's the best video view cost and things like that. 